Hey all y'alls, how good it is to see all y'all smiling faces. Uh, what's up? I'm Kim Scoggle and I've been getting a few questions about uh, how you check the file integrity of the file you download from the internet. Um, so it's the so you know that it's the same file as the developer publisher uploaded for you to download. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take a look at it at the computer. Guess it's nothing to it, but to do it, let's jump in. So here we are inside the computer again, and I'm gonna download GPG Tools because I'm gonna make a video on this later on. So GPG Tools, and here you can see you can just hit the download GPG Suite button here, and it will automatically download this program. And under here you can see it says SHA-256 which is the checksum we're gonna check to make sure that this file is uncorrupted and it's exactly how the GPG tools team wanted it to be when they uploaded it. I have already downloaded it to save some time so what we're gonna do we're gonna hover our mouse over this SHA-256 here and then just gonna mark it copy and now we're gonna open text edit make a new document paste it in there go one down we're done with the web now so now we can just open up finder to where we uh, downloaded it to so you can see gpg suite so now we're gonna match up the checksum on this actual file with the checksum on the actual file that and the GPG tools team uploaded. The way we do that is open terminal, command spacebar, open up the finder, and then you just type in terminal. It opens up, you get the dialog box here. You write in SHA sum space minus A space 256 because that's the, uh, the, the checksum that they have uploaded for us. So it's 256 bit space again and now we have to type out the file path to where we downloaded the file or you can just drag and drop it you can see it automatically types it in hit enter we get the checksum up here so we copy all that open up text edit again paste it in then we just mark it all so we can make sure it all has the same font and the same size so they match exactly <clears throat> and now we can go through it and make sure the top line from the website what the GPG tools said their file should have and what the actual file we downloaded has so if these match up 100% like they do here um, you know that the file is exactly the way they intended it to be and there shouldn't be any malware or tracking devices or viruses on it at all. This should be the complete working file as the developers intended. And that's pretty much it. You can change when you type in your shasum shasum minus a and then here you can type 128 if that's the checksum or 512 or whatever it is to make sure you uh, you get the correct checksum number. A different way you can check it is if you download a program from the App Store, which is called Open Any Files. It's a freeware. So once you open it, it comes like this, and you just drag and drop the file in here. See now it's going to calculate the SHA-1, the SHA-256, the MD2 and MD5 which are all checksums that could be used. The most um, common one is the 256 but you can see here it's matching the one from, uh, from the website as well. The only bad thing is here you can't mark it and put it next to the original one. Other than that you should be good to go to download your files off the internet and make sure they're as the developer intended.